Hey guys, I'm gonna get back here for the video, guys. We have Team of the Week, Week 7 revealed, so let's go ahead and get right into it. We have another Angry Runs running back with 91 speed. Okay, so we're just gonna have, like, the best position in the game, so it's gonna be running back. Because it seems like every single time, every single week now, we're just getting insanely crazy running backs. But eight, 91 speed, 88 acceleration, 90 agility. 85 carrying, 72 catching, 88 change of direction, 91 trucking, and 91 break tackle. We also have Christian Kirk coming in at 91 speed, 85 jumping, 90 catching, 86 catching uh, traffic, 86 back catch, 92 short route running, 87 medium route running, and 90 deep route running. Going down this list here, we have limited time Josh Jacobs, 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 88 agility, 89 carrying, 65 catching, 93 change of direction, 87 trucking and 90 break tackle. So interesting. The Raiders actually lost and they still got a card. Not bad. I mean, the Bears won, so they got a card. Okay, the Jags won. They got a card. I know this is not part of the Team of the Week promo, the Angry Runs. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just looking at you know, teams here. But for Team of the Week, limited time. Like, yeah, okay, so we now know moving forward if a team loses. You can still get a part of the Team of the Week promo. So if you're a fan of a team and you lose, you still have a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. I'm telling you there's a chance. We have the Jags, which we guessed this last night. So we got one of the players correctly. And I'm going to guess the other, the middle guy, was actually going to be... Actually, no, wait. We got Josh Jacobs. We didn't guess this because we thought... I said, I said the middle one had to be a Raider. But, the, but, again, the Raider didn't make sense because they lost. But I guess he won anyway. Um, we did guess Foisad Aluakon. We guessed that one, which is awesome. But we did not guess... No, we thought it was Lamar Jackson. Yeah, that's right. We thought it was Lamar Jackson on the left-hand side. It was Christian Kirk. Anyway, though, Foisad Alunakon. I'm probably butchering that name, by the way. I'm just... Guessing that's how you say his name. That's like a shot in the dark. 90 speed, 89 salvation, 71 strength, 88 tackle, 86 play rec, 83 block shed, 89 hit power, and 89 zone coverage. Usually how it comes down to names is that I say a name, you know, three or four times. Then somebody tells me I'm an idiot. Then I say, hey, I wonder how you say his name. And then someone says, dude, you're stupid. This is how you say the name. And then I forget about it. I don't talk about it for a while. The player doesn't come up for a while. Eventually he does. I look up a video on YouTube how to say the name, get lost, get bored, go eat some food, and then I say the name correctly. That's usually how this works. It's a process, right? So I like to say it's like a 60-day business process for me to learn how to say a player's name. Tyrod Taylor, 86 speed, 88 throw power, 87 throw short, 84 throw middle, 82 throw deep, 85 throw in the pressure, 82 throw in the run, and 82 play action. I can't believe Tyrod Taylor is still getting cards, man. I remember way, way, way back in the day when he was a Raven. I absolutely freaking love this guy. He was Joe Flacco's backup. I think he was a third round pick by the Ravens, I want to say. And I, this, I always wanted him to be the starter. I always wanted him to be the starter on the team. And you know what? He never got to be. And then he went to Buffalo. And Buffalo, he took them to the playoffs. Kyle Van Noy. 85 speed, 88 salvation, 81 strength, 86 tackle, 82 playback, 83 block shed, 86 power move, and 80 and 66 finesse move. Wait, so that means the best Raven quarterbacks right now in the game are Tyrod Taylor and RG3. No Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Something else. Kareem Hunt, who would have thought? Back with the Brownies, and he gets a team of the week card. Oh, man, there was so much animosity this offseason with him leaving the Browns, and then Nick Chubb goes down with the injury, and now he's back, and football is a crazy sport, man. There's so many things that you're like, oh, yeah, this guy's done with this team. This guy's absolutely done with that franchise. And then, like, six weeks later, by the way, guys, um, he's back to the franchise. <laughs> and we have Demario Douglas here. And that's it. So, overall... Not bad. I mean, it's not a bad team a week. You know, it's team a week. What do you expect here? You know, it's all the teams that won and kind of picked the best players except for the Raiders because the Raiders found a way to lose to the Bears and they still got the card. So, you know what? That might honestly be the biggest finesse of the week is that even when you lose, you still win, Raiders. Except for the fact that you're 
zero percent chance you're gonna win your division or make the playoffs. But that's beside the point, Raiders. Just remember, as long as you get a healthy quarterback and you stop going after quarterbacks that can't stay healthy. Peace out.